Hi, today we're going to talk about Paintbrush and the Blood Tool. To be able to get the full benefit of using the Paintbrush Tool, you have to use a, uh, a digital pen. Uh, a digital pen has a moving part. The nib actually goes up and down. So this acts like a, this is a pressure sensitive nib and it can act like the more pressure you put, you put on the tablet, the heavier the uh, application of the stroke will come out, just like using a pen. And the uh, tablet looks like this. So this is a Wacom tablet, and you can get this for uh, less than $100. It goes up to $300 or so uh, dollars, and depending, on, depending on what you wanted. Uh, depending on the budget that you have. I think um, get something more reasonable so that you can practice with it. The pen tool is actually a very wonderful, very, uh, it's a challenging tool because you, get, you have to do a lot of practice and you have to experiment with different uh, brass. Uh, you have to experiment, with, you have to experiment the different uh, available brushes in the, in Illustrator. Okay, and then I and then I will show you the blood tool, which is also a unique tool in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, hold on. To access your brush tool, all you have to do is press on the letter B on your keyboard, and right now your cursor will it will change into a brush icon the way the way I have I have here. It will look like this one on my artboard right now. I'm going to use my digital pen. As I have said before, the more pressure you put on the digital pen, the heavier the, the stroke will, will appear. And as you can see, the digital pen automatically corrects the smoothness of the strokes that you are creating. Right now, my color is black. You can set a different color by going to your stroke color on the properties panel. And then you have to go to your you have to go to your uh, color mixer, and from here you can pick and choose the color that you like to use. Of course, you can also adjust the opacity of your uh, color. Right now, if I were to use that color, it's going to appear the way I had it on my properties panel. If I wanted to change the opacity of my color, I can bring it down. So this is a lighter shade now. You have you have a brass library that is available for you. The artistic calligraphic uh, brass, charcoal pencil, ink, paint brass, scroll pen, watercolor. That's one of them. You can also go to the bristle brass library. You have decorative, the image brass library, vector, the Wacom brushes. Let's go over it one by one. Because of the amount of variation that we have here, I'm going to draw just a sample of a stroke here. Let me just highlight this and I'm going to show you how to open up the library and choose the type of process that you'd like to use. Let's go to calligraphic pen. The way to activate your library is just to click one of the items here that is available for you and it will automatically appear on the brushes panel in the properties uh, panel. For example, if I were to choose the 30 point, see what happens right now. It changes the whole thing if it is highlighted. If I were to use the uh, different setting, that's how it's going to look like. Now let's go to, you don't need to go back to your brushes and click on these uh, four stripes here on the upper right hand corner. All you have to do is just go to the left and right arrow key here on the bottom and it, you are able to access the same library. Let's say if we choose this one, that's how it's going to look like. And this is the best way to uh, Pick and choose the type of brushes that you like to use. Let's go to the next uh, library. 
it's quite interesting and moving on to the next library this is the paintbrush and this is the scroll pen this is quite interesting if the strokes are quite uh, it looks a very graphical uh, illustration like this one because it creates some sort of a graphical theme and this is the watercolor that's how it's going to look like uh, if it's not highlighted if you like to use one you just have to go to your brush tool press letter B again on your keyboard you can also change the width the thickness of your brush strokes and if you want to change your color all you have to do is just go to your to the properties panel of the stroke and then pick and choose over here okay as i've said before it takes a lot of practice to be able to get yourself comfortable in using a digital pen but if you like doing illustrations this is the best tool for you you can come out with a close to realistic uh, illustration mimicking the uh, watercolor or uh, inks okay and then i will show you the next uh, tool which is the blood tool